Okay, let me show you the little paths I made from bricks that my neighbor gave to me. She gifted them to me, and I decided to make a little path. This is the back door, and as you step down out, I wanted like a little path. So I have a little path starting right here, so you don't step into sand. And then I made a little, a little sitting area right here. And then you have, I put the little aloe vera right here. And then uh, as we continue, I have more plants here. There are some roots from that tree. Uh, so I just worked around it. And uh, we have here a basil and some more aloe, some sanseveda. And, uh, oh, I put these bricks on the side because the chickens kept uh, turning over my aloe vera. So I just put bricks on the side to hold them in. And as you can see, the path goes like this, four to three. And then here it became five more. I had a little garden. I put a little garden here with some of my plants. And then on this side, since it's really wide, I put some more of my plants over here. And you can see right here. And then I left a little area right here for the kids to play with the sand. So it's right here. And then we get to the swing. Okay. So we're right here on the swing, and uh, as you step here on the swing, your feet will be right here on top of the, and it's all the way to the edge right there. Okay, and all this area is for the kids to play. They've already started playing there with those molds. And then uh, they're just put together like a puzzle. As you can tell, I'm not very good with puzzles, but I did the best I could. And there we, there's your little path as you go back to the door. And there's the aloe vera. And this will take you back to the door. And there's, and there's a, the, the gatekeepers. Two little puppies that give me no problems at all. Next, taking care of their sons of Ada. So that's what we got. Thank you so much. And I, I saw people making videos on uh, on uh, some some uh, paths, and I go on, I can make one too, except I have no cement. I put no cement. I have sandy soil, so I just water it every day, and they settle until they settle um, into their spot, and I'm okay with that. And I haven't fallen or tripped yet, so that says something about it. There's all my little path, <sighs> so beautiful. There it is. Really good. Thank you so much. I just wanted to show you my little path that I made. It's only it's only bricks and other lost and found bricks from other projects that are left over. If the chickens are turning over your little plants, just put a little barrier there, a little barrier, and that'll hold them in place. This been there for two days and they haven't messed around with my with the plants. Or if you put bigger pots and tuck them in, tuck them in the little corners, they don't mess with them. The only thing they mess around is with the purslane. If there's any purslane, they will be trying to eat that. So, and just keep it off, off where people are going to be walking, and you'll be okay. And you got your little sidewalk. You have your little path to go where you need to go without um, getting you, your feet all dirty, taking dirt in the house. Yeah? There we go, all the way to the swing, all the way to the swing, right here, perfect, and the little corners for plants, and you can make it as wide as you, as the tr most trouble I had was making it go from there this way. I didn't know how I was going to make that little curve. And all you do is just move them, move them. Move, move, put more bricks to the side you're going to and less to the side you're not going to. So you see right there. And it's all right if you have those spaces right there. Just uh, make sure they don't, like, um, I'm going to put maybe if I get more or something so they won't be like the sharp edges sticking out. But they're pretty blunt on the corner, so except that red one. So I'll do that. You see, it's pretty blunt. There's the sandstone old bricks. They have blunt 
corner so they're not like sharp if I were to if I were to fall or trip but I won't so you see everything is awesome and the plants are doing real, real nice and I just found out that this is ginger I had planted this in here a long time ago and I, I really thought I had lost it and it wasn't that it had died and then I saw this I go what is that and I tasted it, I smelled it, I, it's ginger. And I dug a little bit around it to see what was at the bottom. And it's ginger. I, just moving it here, you can smell that it's ginger. Oh my goodness, I never thought I could grow ginger. It's from a store-bought little piece of ginger. And um, I tried it with a turmeric, but I haven't been successful with the turmeric. But this is the ginger. Wow, it smells so good. So I'm really happy about that. Cut, and I have it in here. So it like now I know it like semi shade. It doesn't like like full sun, especially full sun all day. So alternate sun shade, which it gets here under the trees and is really happy there. Well, anyway, thank you so much for letting me share with you my little pathway that I made. It's so beautiful. And I hope you make one. You can make one. If you want to make a little path, you can make one. Just go slow, slow, and brick by brick, and you'll get there. Thank you so much. I'll catch you on another video.